Hello everyone, Mitch here with another Logic Pro 10 tutorial. Today we're going to be learning with Splice. Splice is this awesome tool that allows us to create, collaborate, and share our projects in this nice online platform. This project in front of us is there on my account. You can go splice that. The link is in the description below and you can follow along. Today we're going to be talking about snare synthesis inside of UltraBeat. So let's dive right in. I'm going to select this kit track. I'm going to go to UltraBeat. All right, we have that kick that we created last time. Go to Command K, open up musical typing. That's the kick. And there's the snare that came in the Adept machine. So I'm gonna right click on this, uh, this file and I'm gonna to go to init sign. That'll reset us. I'm gonna turn off oscillator one. We're gonna be using that for a different purpose here later in the tutorial. I'm gonna turn on oscillator two. Make sure you're in phase oscillation mode and we should be able to play that sign that we created. Now I'm going to rename this to snare. All right. Uh, all right, first of all, let's detune or uh, tune this oscillator to the right pitch. We are in D major, so I'm gonna tune it to D2. Uh, right, there we are. And then the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the modulation to LFO1. All right, and uh, we can move that oscillation up two to three uh, octaves. So I'm gonna move it to D5. Maybe, if it gives me an option, there we are. All right, and so you can see that low frequency oscillator is modulating our sound there. That LFO is on the top right of our interface here. Uh, so a couple things, cycles I'm gonna set to 20, uh, right there. And then the ramp on the far right, I'm gonna select to neg negative 20. All right, sounds a little bit better. And I'm gonna increase the rate of our LFO. All right, sweet. Next, I'm gonna shape it. I'm gonna to go to envelope four in the bottom right. I'm gonna zoom it to get a better view and draw it back to around 500 milliseconds and shape this just a little bit more. All right, awesome. And so a snare drum has kind of a tom-like normal drum with metal snares on the bottom. Those snares on the bottom give high frequency noise uh, to the overall sound, kind of makes it punch through. Um, and that's what snares are known for. And so I'm alluding to adding noise to this. So I'm gonna select the noise section of, the, of this, uh, this instrument. And with just playing it, it sounds a lot more like a, what, a snare, like what we need to be going for here. So what we're going to be doing is playing with some of the high pass and low pass to get exactly what we want. Um, so low pass, uh, I'm actually going to be using high pass to get the sound that I want. All right, sounds good to me. All right, and now this noise part of the instrument is being uh, shaped by envelope four, like oscillator two. If you want them to be shaped differently, what we can do, you can see that envelope three here is or, uh, selected in the modulation of the volume section of the noise. Uh, and so what I'm gonna do is turn the volume all the way down on this part, grab the modulation handle, turn that up to where the volume used to be. All right, and now since we're using envelope three, we can play around with uh, a different shape to the noise. All right, so I'm gonna create, I'm just gonna do it. All right, there we are. And you can do whatever you want there. Um, I'm just kind of giving a, just a normal, just kind of a, a rough shape to it. And you can go in and play with that more. So the last thing I want to do in this tutorial is add a little bit of FM synthesis, um, a little bit of color to it. Uh, so I'm going to select oscillator one, turn that on, go to the FM section. And now, uh, so what's going on here is the lower the FM amount here on this slider here to the left, the more tone is going to be given to the instrument. The higher you go, the more uh, noise, the more color is going to be given. So let's let's play with this. Okay, so you can kind of see how that sounds. Sounds kind of weird first of all, because we need to pitch it to the correct uh, the correct note. And so I'm gonna select D1. All right, come on. All right, there we are. All right, and then. I'm actually gonna use a low FM amount because I want some color. I'm gonna set that back in the mix a little bit. All right, awesome. 
So this is basically um, what I'm gonna be calling our snare. So next thing we wanna do is kind of normalize it with the rest of the, 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 the samples here inside of our kit, and then make sure that it sounds good with the rest of our song. All right, so first thing we wanna do is select these kit MIDI files. Uh, we need to move it from claps to the snare drum we were using, which is down one note. All right, get out of that and that. All right, let's play it with the rest of the kit and see how it sounds. Not, not terrible. All right, let's unsolo that and play it with the rest of the track. Awesome, so that is uh, how to create a snare with Ultrabeat. There's a lot of different things you can do. You can play with the EQ here and go all out. Um, but yeah, that's how you do it. Anyway, everyone, thanks for watching this tutorial. Make sure to go check out Splice and all that it has to offer. And I will be seeing you all in a later tutorial. Peace.